today we are at Coronado Springs to get dinner because it's my birthday and I'm really excited but we are going to the Maya Grill which is a Mexican restaurant and it's one of our favorites so the restaurant we're eating at is that way but we are gonna go this way because they have a gym bar that we wanted to try out a gin bar sounded like I said gym gin bar yeah Jim owns it and I have a brand new camera that I got for my birthday so thanks Curtis so I'm kind of testing it out so we'll see what the sound is like what the picture is like but I'm really excited today is Father's Day so we had a nice joint celebration with my dad this morning here is I think it's called the Barcelona lounge and it's just on the first floor of the hotel <laughs> oh yeah Barcelona lounge they have coffee down here and a build your own gin and tonic. All right, I got a Santa Maria, I think it was called, but I'll put a screenshot with what it is. But it's pink gin, strawberry, and lime. And kids just got a coffee because it's sweet. So his is espresso. <laughs> but this place is really nice. Look, we just sat down here. That's where you walk in the main lobby. There's bits of strawberry, but it's really good. I'm chewing my drink. I really liked it when I tried it. It's really good. I don't mind to chew it. I have like an appetizer before dinner. Oh yeah, a little snack. You look crystal clear in this, baby. Strawberry. Just let you see my view. I love the chandelier. Look at that. Yummy. And oh, my view. I think we have like 30 minutes before we have to go eat, so. Yeah. Let me guess, you already know what you're going to order. Quesadillas and chips and guac and salsa and cheese. Oh, I just noticed that picture of Walt. That is really cute. Well, is this his wife over here? I'll have to Google it. I mean, that's what I would guess. But I don't know who it is. Maybe it's just a woman. There's a hidden Mickey right over there. Here is the menu for tonight. The cheese looks really good. And the guacamole. Cucumber salsa, interesting. Chicken tortilla soup, which is one of my favorites, but oops, I'm not really in the mood for soup at the minute. Salads, no family style. Oh my gosh, you can get a giant meal. That would be so fun. Fajitas, oh, they have fajitas. No, <laughs> Steak fajitas. Oh, these are my favorite, the quesadillas. Chicken steak. Enchiladas are not my favorite. Ooh. Sides. Oh. <gasps> As you just saw in the last clip, I just got it all over Kansas. I'm so sorry. I thought I got over it when I was five. <laughs> oh no. I feel so bad, but get yourself a good husband and a good boyfriend who's not going to shout at you because you spilled his drink all over. Because our reservation is going to be called in 10 minutes, so we can't really go home to change. It wasn't on purpose. I know, but it was so bad. I don't think it was. It is on camera. It wasn't. So I, I know, it literally was. <gasps> I gave him some of my drink because I feel bad. It tastes like sherbet. It tastes so good. All right, we are checking in. So you can do this on the Disney app. So there's two of us. Mobility, accessibility. Mobility, accessibility. That's a tongue twister. Celebrations, baby! Birthday! Well, should we do all of them? Oh my gosh, you can't! No, I don't! <laughs> we'll send you a text when we're ready. Oh, good. Don't want to get your phone number on there. We are all checked in. That's new. Well, we haven't really eaten at Disney in a while, but I like that you can do that. Our table is ready. We're gonna go eat. So it's ready basically on time, and it's like 5 4 5. So. Here is another look at the menu after I spilled the last one all over Curtis. But we are going to get the oh, guacamole first. I'm interested for the cucumber salsa. That sounds really good. I like cucumbers. And then we are going to get the quesadillas. And then maybe some dessert. Where do they go? Maybe some ice cream. Lava cake. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know which one 
we should yeah, that get. Yeah, that sounds good. I mean, we could get it for your birthday. And they have a real candle here, instead of one of the ones that just light up, you know? I don't know why, I think that's cool. It smells kind of good too. Here is our guacamole. There's some cucumber on top and I think that's red pepper as well. Looks so good. Tomato. And chips. Oh, is it tomato or red pepper? There's some jalapeno in it. Oh, jalapeno spicy. And I got a Prosecco, which is filled literally to the tip top. I don't even know how we brought it out here. I probably would have dropped it. Yeah. Gotta get the... Oh, taste test. Oh, that was... <laughs> it was okay. Try it. <laughs> mm. It's really fresh. It is. You might think it's weird with the cucumber in it, but it makes it really fresh. It's really good. How about another bite? Look at the ants. The cucumber is so good in this. Like, we should do that at home. I oh, know. Actually, you did make guac the other day. First time. I'm gonna oh. add a cucumber in it. Is this, could we do a Sophie cooking video? Oh, they gave me a pin. Wow. Happy birthday. The guac was so good. And if you can hear it, it's live music. So there's someone with a guitar. It's really nice. We ate a lot. But I want to save some for the quesadilla. Your dream is to have uh, champagne and guac all the time. These are my favorite things. So. Okay, Julia Childs. It's not Julia Childs. It's uh. Julia yeah, yeah. Julia Childs. Oh, that's um the cook. Oh my gosh! I thought this camera was like always zoomed in. It was just a saying I didn't use. See, we're just learning together. But they're playing Mamma Mia. That's why I originally wanted to say, but. It really is your birthday dinner. Champagne. I know. Guac champagne, guacamole, and Mamma Mia is my favorite things. But I planned it all. I'll have to learn this camera, so. But at least we have a wide lens. That's good. Here's our quesadillas that we're sharing. So it comes with sour cream, refried beans, and a tiny bit of guacamole. But we still saved some of ours to have with it. Oh, and a lot of rice, actually. Yay! Looks so good. I like that they're individual, so it's easy to share. This is so yummy. The rice is very cilantro heavy, so if you think that cilantro tastes like soap, don't get the rice. <laughs> but it's so good. What do you think? Yummy. We just finished eating, and it was so good. Curtis, yeah. what did you think? Oh, it's awesome. Yay. So we had the guac and cheese quesadillas. And it was so good and they also do have an annual pass discount for 10% I think I don't know we now we need to we're not food reviewers we just eat the food and then we say it's good I would say um, like I mentioned earlier the cilantro rice is very cilantro so if you like it like us it was really good but if you think it tastes like soap not the best choice I think well, that the restaurant had a lot of between like easily accessible Mexican food and stuff that's a little more authentic yeah, I think they it, had some stuff on like that. How adventurous <laughs> you are, or like if you just want something that's easy and good, you can kind of get whatever there. So you can take the yeah. whole family. It's easy. <laughs> and yeah. they you know, had um, like family size portions. So yeah. like for two or three people, no, two or four people. It said, but I feel like I mean we got an entree to share, so it was really. Good. It was a family style. My so hair is in the way. Um, you know, sometimes that can be a lot easier too. Um, Our faces look a bit white, so again, like I'm just trying out this camera, so I've never seen what it's going to look like on the computer, so I might look at it on the computer and be like, oh my gosh, we look so washed out, but this video just trying is an it out. It really is, so thanks for watching if you made it this far, and subscribe. What was your favorite part of the meal? The guac is the best. And if you're apprehensive to the cucumber, like it was just so good and it made it taste fresh, and I don't think it really tasted like cucumber. It, was really good. Uh, I thought cucumber, I was not thinking pickled cucumber, but yeah. it did add an, a little extra flavor that, I don't know, it was good. It was refreshing and, you know, add a little zest. Yeah, <laughs> it was really good. But then we just came out into this garden. Let me show you. Well, garden? I don't know. But it looks really cute. Let me show you. So we just came out of the restaurant, which is just through there. So to the left. And these are where some of the rooms are. But I think it would be really cute when it gets dark 
because it has these fairy lights over here and then there's a nice fountain honestly like this would be great i don't know if they do this they probably would but for like a wedding reception and like you could have everyone stay in this block i mean i know they do a lot of conventions here so that's really nice it's been raining a lot the past few days so each night has been so nice because it is not as humid as you would think it was but it's just cooled down a lot so it doesn't feel like today was really really hot but in the evening it's gotten nice and cool we're just gonna have a walk around i want to go up to the rooftop bar not so much to get a drink but just so i can show you guys the view because you can see all of the parks up there and i'm gonna have to get used to this camera this arm is going to be twice as big as this one because it's so heavy let's go look at the the views we're gonna look at the views see my face looks let's really white see orlando from it's a little height. flushed out flush flushed out my face on the camera but Let's go up to the bar. I want to look in the shop. Obviously, my videos always end in the shop. My videos are like a Disney ride. Every ride end is, ends in a shop. And every video ends in a shop. So. The outfit of the day is my dress is from Francesca's, which is where most of my dresses are from. And my bag is from Tiffany's. And I have no idea where the shoes are from. Maybe Target. I literally don't remember buying them. But that's obviously how looking stunning. The birthday fit. It's cute. It's brand new from Francesca's. That bag is awesome. I love Francesca's. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, now we are walking to the rooftop so I can show you guys the views from the roof. Here at Coronado, they have the screens on the elevator. So we're gonna go all the way to the top. Oh, which one? Number C. Oh, left of C. <laughs> Number C. We just got to the top floor of the new tower. Let's go outside and see how it looks. Because you can see all of the parks from here. I think almost all of them. From here, you can see Epcot and the Swan and Dolphin Hotel. Then if we keep going, oh, swan and dolphin. Keep going and go. There we go. There is Hollywood Studios. And that is the building for, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting. No, it's right outside of, I can't remember what it's the building for, but there's Tower of Terror and the Chinese theater. Where is it? Let me see. There it is, if you can kind of see it. That point Just building. right in the middle, yeah. And then over is Galaxy's Edge. All over here. And then let me zoom out so you guys can see. This is what it looks like from up here. You can see the vlogging lot. But you will be able to see the fireworks from Hollywood Studios and the fireworks from Epcot. And then if you keep going, you can literally see our apartment from here. When I said that we could see our apartment from here, I meant we can see the area that it's in, by the way. <laughs> no, our apartment's that big building right Yeah, this is our bedroom. apartment. Oh, that's a good focus. Yeah, that was quick. Oh, new camera, new camera. Time. Here is Blizzard Beach. And then I think we'll be able to see Animal Kingdom, so we're just going to go to the side, to the right. That is either Old Town or the Tog. I think that's the Target that they put one of them up. I don't know what this is called, but they did that at our Target for some reason. And then here is Mount Everest, and you can see Pandora to the left, but the only park that you can't see is Magic Kingdom from here. But honestly, you can still get the fireworks from Epcot and the fireworks at Hollywood Studios when they do have them. And there's all Galaxy's Edge. And our car is literally just down here. <laughs> and all of this down here is the convention center, I want to say. Well, this is where we ate, so that's where we walked in. And then the restaurant was like back here, and then they have convention centers here. I feel like Coronado is also a nice place to do some work. Not that you want to work on vacation, but maybe if you work remote and you can kind of work from anywhere, this is a really nice place to do it because they have lots of plugs in the middle here it smells great which is always a plus Woohoo! yeah 
everything is just so clean. And this is the bar where we were earlier on the first floor, so we're on the second. All right, now we are on our way home. And we had an amazing meal, such a fun night. Did you have a nice time? I had a wonderful time. Yay. I'll say I found a new way to drink coffee and And it's all over it you. It was interesting. Yeah. Also, so that was fun. If you want to come to Coronado, it's fun. Like eat here, go to the rooftop bar, which is really fun. They have oh we didn't end the video in a end the shop. <gasps> oh That's my gosh, all we we, said. we didn't end the video in a shop. I'm so sorry. Well, Okay. We'll make it up next time by going to two shops. Yeah, there's always so many shops involved in this video. Most videos. Thanks for putting up with the camera issue. I don't know if there are issues, but you know, I'm just going to be figuring out the camera and the only way I can do that is to use it. So, thanks for watching. My hair isn't curly. It was curly when we got here and now Still it's like a frizzy good. mess. But I will see you guys next time and we will be at Universal next time, next week. So stay tuned for that. We'll have hopefully a resort tour, room tour, different videos at Universal. Oh my gosh. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.